Hi. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to properly simulate parts with area pads in RF Pro. To do this, I'm going to use this low pass filter example that uses these advanced model physics parts. If we open up one of the models, we can see that there's a bunch of options for how the parasitics are treated for the pads. You can use a full parasitic model, an ideal model, or a simplified parasitic model. In our case, we want to EM simulate the, uh, the pads, so we're going to choose no pad stacks. The pad instantiation in layout is controlled by this pad mode options here, and since we want to include the pads in our, in our EM simulation, we're going to choose pads always in layout. If we open up the layout and we zoom in on one of these parts, you can see that the area pads for the parts are defined by this, this dashed blue line around the periphery of the pad. So let's launch RF Pro and look at the different ways that we can partition the components. Parts partitioned as layout, like this microstrip line or these MTs, are going to be EM simulated. But let's say we have a part that we want to model as a component, include the model in our RF Pro generated subcircuit, but we also want to EM simulate the pads. We need to partition these as circuit, so that would be right click, change component role to circuit. But notice there's also this other option here that says component includes area pads in net. If I turn that off on both these, these capacitors as well as the inductors here, you're going to see that the, the area pads are now stripped out of the layout and they won't be included in the EM simulation. This is not what we want. We want to turn the pads back on. And this is how I've run this EM simulation. If we look at the subcircuit that's generated from the completed EM simulation, we can see that there's a data block that contains all of our EM data. All of our parts have been automatically inserted back into the subcircuit with the pad stack simulation mode as no pad stacks. This is important because we don't want to double count the parasitics of the pad stacks. If this was set on, on one of the parasitic models, we would be including the parasitics from the EM simulation as well as the parasitics that are generated from the model. <clears throat> so let's look at the actual results here. If we open that up, we can see that we have a very good correlation between uh, measured data, which is the blue curves, insertion loss and return loss, and the EM and the I'm sorry RF Pro generated uh, circuit results. Okay, that's all I've got, and thank you for watching.